Hello guys and welcome to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Profinville 17. Uh, this map can be found over at modhoster.com and uh, this is a nice little small map. Uh, this map is representing a fictional location in Belgium. Uh, on this map you will find uh, soy milk production, a sawmill, a BGA, big, medium and small field sizes, uh, one farm with all the animals, and uh, this map is also seasons ready uh, with respect to a snow mask. Uh, so on this map you will have bale rotting and you will have uh, snow not collecting under the uh, buildings and sheds. So let's go ahead and jump on in. We're going to pick our gator, pull up the log. So we do have an error at the top, but it is completely unrelated to this map. Uh, so this map is loading up error-free at this point. So there are some errors here with respect to um, invalid save ID. Now, once you save the game and open it back up again, these errors go away. So you only see these errors the first time you open the game or open the map. So here we are, we start uh, kind of in our garage. So this is the uh, building that we've seen on old streams. Redone a little bit, there's our chicken area. Now, I don't know if these bales up here are decorative or if they're actually individual bales we could use. I haven't gotten up there and, and trying to see that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the map itself. So as you can see, it's kind of a small map. Uh, we have all of our animals right here. Uh, we have our standard crop types on this map. And we start out by owning fields 3, 11, 18, and 19. It uh, looks like there's a total of 21 fields on this map. So we started this video on hard mode, and even on hard mode, we start out with some crops in the silos. And it looks like we have um, four main cell points for our uh, crops. And then we have an assortment of other cell points. We start with a fairly limited list of equipment. Uh, nothing is leased and everything is fairly new or basically brand new. So let's go ahead and take out a loan. And we have all three animal types on this map. Uh, we start out with no animals and nothing in the various feed areas. And our silo has a capacity of 150,000 liters. So let's take a look at our starting fleet. So we start out with two Dutzfar trackers. Tractors are the same, uh, same size, 143 horsepower. We have our K1660 harvester with a grain header. And we have the uh, fairly decent size agroliner tipper. We've got a plow, cedar, our Great Plains cedar that I, I just do not like this thing at all. Uh, we've got our fertilized sprayer. We've got a side mower and a front mower. We've got ourselves a tether and a forge wagon. Or is this a rake? This is a windrow, not a tether. And we have our handy dandy pickup truck. So let's go ahead and lease on up our gator. Let's take a look and figure out where the shop is. So there's the shop. And let's hit reset and see what happens. So it looks like the reset point is down here, down below the cows. So we'll see if we can't uh, find that here in a bit. I think I actually see it way there off in the distance. So let's check out. Here's our uh, here's our pickup truck. One of our tractors. So I can imagine this map would be absolutely gorgeous with uh, seasons turned on. Uh, with all of these trees changing colors, uh, given the, the way that these uh, we've got these beautiful wildflowers or, or whatever going on. 
So here we have our silo out, and we have our tipper part here as a kind of a hint that this is our silo system. Here we have our silo tip in. So this little old field here is one of the fields that we own. This field would probably take about five minutes to plow, if that much. We've got our harvester and our forage wagon over here. These are wool pallets. So this is our sheep area. So our sheep have this nicely overgrown um, grassy area. We've got a uh, road here. So this is where we would do our water. Oh, we've got a nice pond in here. So we've got another map with uh, nice water in the uh, sheep area. Let's see if we can figure out where to buy our our sheep. Probably have to do it inside. Here we go. Yep, we have to go inside a little bit. So there's our sheep. They're going to have lots of fun uh, eating through all this grass. Here we have our grass trough. There's some additional buildings over here. So there's our chickens, as I pointed out earlier. We already have we so we have a lot of storage here on this map for equipment. Got another storage building over there. Here's where we will buy our cows. Oh, we've got a little side thing here. I want we could probably store our bales of hay and straw in here. Although I don't know if you want to store your bales of hay back here where the cows can get free access to them. Looks like the cows have a fairly big area to roam around in. Here's where you can come and get yourself some water. We got a uh, community member over here taking advantage of some uh, local fishing, I see. So this map, even though it's small, it does have a train system. We will take a ride on the train here momentarily. So here we have our water trough for cows. And we have a ga grass trough. Manure and slurry here. There's our gator. And we should have a fairly long feed trough inside this building. I see a light switch. It's turning the outside light on. Yep, we've got a fairly long feed trough in here. This is where we're going to also be putting our straw. I'm a little interested to see if we have a milk fill point. I'm not seeing a milk fill point. So uh, let's see here. We've already seen our. Have we seen pigs? We haven't seen our pigs, have we? Oh no, they're up on top of this shelf here, this ledge. So we'll get to our pigs in a bit. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and just. Uh, Kind of take a look around the map. This is another map uh, that is surrounded in mountains. It's kind of a valley. We've got a big old castle over there. Uh, that looks like that's the road up to the pig area. Let's go ahead and go around to there. Uh, 
Oh, we've got a real big waterfall back here in the background. Oh, looks like we've got a second waterfall over there. We do have traffic on the map. So here we have another storage shed, and we can use this to store our straw for our pigs. We have our slurry point and our manure point. And we have another building over here. Let's go ahead and buy up our piggies. Now this is a standard farm sim area, so we have our feed trough and our water trough over there. There's our pigs. So let's see what kind of a view we have from up here. So we've got some town there. We've got what looks like a buy point over there. There's our castle and our big old church. There's the pond that we were looking at and some more fields. Like as I said, this would be an absolutely gorgeous map, I think, with seasons enabled. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, make our way back on down and then we'll uh, explore the map a little bit. Got some real rough roads here. Got some rocks in our roads. We've got some weed growth growing up in our roads. We're back on some fairly solid ground now. Oh, we've got a fallen tree up there. Let's take a look at the map and figure out which court, which way we should go. Uh, looks like most of the stuff is to the um, it's to the right. Uh, so let's go to the right and uh, then make our way around the uh, the map in a clockwise direction. So it looks like the three fields that we own are over here. So field three, which appears to be a grass field, is right below us, right here to our right. Looks like we have a, a buy point or something up here. So field 19 looks to be another grass field. And field 18 appears to be corn. So we got two grass fields and a corn field real, real close to the BGA. Let's figure out how to get in here.
here it looks like we have a road. Huh, so I guess we'll, we must have to get back to that other road to get into the BGA. So we'll go down here first. We got some really bumpy roads coming down through here. Alright, so this appears to be a buy point. Let's take a look and see what they take. So here's we are. So this particular buy point takes all of our standard grain crops. So just come in here and tip on in. And it looks like we need to make our way around. So we're not going to be coming in here with anything really big. So let's go over here and check out the field prices on field 7. Which also appears to have corn in it. So field 7 is 1.55 hectares at $62.9,000. So field 20 is sugar beets. So field 20 is 0.64 hectares at $25,000. So let's see if we can't get to this field or uh, road so we can get to the BGA. I'm hoping that it uh, runs into the entrance. There we go, we have a break in the fence. So we have our standard farm sim BGA with our scale system here. Oh, we have some, are these some massive floodlights? They're showing up with uh, maybe what looks like a texture problem. So here we have some bunkers. Oh, right next to our beautiful waterfall. Here we have our digestate tank. A little storage shed. There you can see the chaff level indicators. So all these bunkers seem to function. Or it would indicate that they're going to function. And then we have our Silo King. Go ahead and spin on around here. Let's make our way over to what looks like a big old church and a castle ruin. So we have our stock market here. This is where we're going to be buying our animals if we wish to uh, pick them up and deliver them ourselves. We have some static cows here with a feed trough. So here's where we, our trigger is going to be located. See, this is where we get the animal dialogue. So it's not a very big area uh, where our animal dialogue pops up. I guess it extends all the way back through these decorative tractors. Uh, we can't get through there, so let's... Uh, and 
spin on around. Again, we have very bumpy roads here. So there we have the Belgium flag, I guess, and uh, here's our castle. We have a nice water fountain here. We have a nice Gothic church. Absolutely stunning church as far as scale goes. And then we have our castle ruin. If we can uh, jump up on this fence and uh, run up there. Oops. I was hoping we get a nice view of the uh, of the map. We'll make one more attempt. Oh uh, well. All right, let's make our way on around. We have, uh, maybe we can get a good view from over here. Oh, a fairly good view. Here we've got what appears to be a residential area. Some more fields. Coca-Cola sign on the side of a building there. Very nice. This map is very, very attractive, I think. Oops. I think if you like to play on small maps, this would be a very nice map to play on as far as uh, just appealing to the eye. Very terrain. Um, different size fields. Different shape fields. So we've got our fuel point down here. Uh, we haven't been to the shop, so let's go ahead and make our way over here to the vehicle shop. Here we have a buy point for eggs. And possibly wool, or is that milk? Selling point for eggs, and that looks like it's a selling point for milk. But uh, is there milk here? No. And at the cow barn, we did not see a place to... Uh, nothing else is showing up here. We did not see a place to uh, draw milk out. So I don't think that's a milk buy point. I think that's simply a uh, decorative piece. So here's our vehicle shop. Let's see if this is where we would uh, do our customizing and our selling back. Yep. So our trigger is right there. All right. Let's try to make our way down south. Uh, looks like there might be a bridge over here. So field 13, which appears to be the larger field, a larger field on the map. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that field price and size. So field 13 is 1.35 hectares at $54,000. Um, I'm sorry, field 16 appears to be the biggest. So 
So we're just going to stay in, in um, first person view for now because of these trees that line the road. I really don't want to be basically flipping through those trees. Let's see here, this looks like this will be how we access this cell point. So this is the Agricovert train station. This looks like they are also a buy point for all of our products. Just some storage silos. Looks like we have another buy point right around the turn here. Well, I thought we did. Oh, you know what that is? Let's go take a look. I think that's just saying that that's the train cell point for this area. No. All right, we've got that one. And then... Well, there's a trigger here, as if this is a dump point. There's no grate, so I'm guessing this is a uh, dump point for, let's see how it's named. So it's named the same thing. All right, so I guess that is a cell point um, for train. If you're on the train, that's a cell point for the train. See, this is why I didn't want to. We have a lovely pond over here. Some fields. What's this? I have some animated horses here. Galloping horses, that's quite a few number of horses for that small evident area. So it looks like this is going to be our buy point for our hay straw and grass. Indeed it is. Here we have another cell point it appears. Let's see what this comes up. This comes up as the, as that Again, they take uh, most of our crops, but not a lot. Let's see where this leads. Uh, this is just wrap around. Oh, we got another pond here off the side. Yep, this just wraps around. So we'll just go ahead and. Uh, Go through here. And come back out onto the main road. I wonder where that road goes off to. That road goes off into something. Go on down here. It 
So this appears to be a sawmill, maybe? So let's take a look. So this is the wood rail. The wood rail takes wood chips. So there's also a uh, a trigger there. Maybe that's where you can deliver wood chips if you're on a uh, trailer. We're just going to have to make our way back around, I guess. Whoa. Tell you, the author really likes his bumpy roads. There we go. So field 16 is the largest field on the map, and it is 3.12 hectares at $126,000. Uh, so the only thing we need to get to is the spinnery. Uh, there's Mountain D something and the sawmill. So we can get to the sawmill through the train. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, check out the spinnery and the other one. So this appears to be one of those maps where if you get uh, get a lot of traffic stacked up behind you, it looks like you're probably going to have a long line of cars to uh, to deal with. Oops. So I will tell you that the uh, train system does weave and wind around quite a bit on this map. So here we have our wool buy point. We got a nice shed here with a whole bunch of wool pallets and a big old string ball on the top. So there's our train and we have a transfer station down there. We're not going to drive down there quite yet. In fact, we're just going to tab into the train once we get up to this other area. It's kind of a residential area down there. So uh, I'm not really sure what types of trees these are. These are really nice looking trees. Um, I guess they've been retextured. Alright, so here's the last buy point that we're going to look at. And it is this one, I guess, right? No. So that's the buy point, and they take uh, our standard grains here at this buy point. Try to get out of the trees. All right, so let's go ahead and tab on into our train. Let's go ahead and take a tour around the map on our train, and then we'll call it done. So we'll zoom out as far as we can. We're going to uh, slow the train down a little bit. We'll go around at 40. Like I said, this train winds around and makes quite a few uh, turns. So 
I'm going to try to get an angle where we can uh, see some things and not be uh, flying through the trees. So this is where we were. Uh, this is where we were at uh, with respect to the wood chip cell point. This is going to take us down here to the sawmill. So we have two sawmills here. We have one that looks like we drop boards off at the top and make board pallets. And then we have the standard Farm Sim 17 sawmill over there. Looks like we have a secondary storage yard back there with some sheds. Uh, this is that cell point that also is a train cell point. Looks like our, uh, we don't have railroad crossings, but our, our um, cars do stop. So there's our farm. Swing around this side. So like I said, we weave, this, this train track weaves around so much. It's hard to, uh, to give you a good shot without it constantly turning around. So there's the wool buy point, and there's the soy milk facility. We're just going to go ahead and get off. That's where we started at. So it just makes a quick little trip around. Let's go over here and take a look at our soy milk plant. So you'll deliver soybeans here. And you'll deliver water here. And you'll deliver fuel right here let me get turned around okay and then what you'll get out of that is after the plant runs if you're not familiar with this you'll get slurry you'll get pig food out the chute there and you'll get milk uh, right here um, you know what Let's go over here. Remember those things of milk? There is a trigger here. I'm wondering, this is, must be where you drop the soy milk off to uh, sell the soy milk. So that's what that is. Those are milk jugs, and this is a buy point for milk. And uh, you bring your soy milk there. Or I guess you could pull out the, uh, pull out the mod that allows you to... Um, Um, pull milk out of your milk tank, your milk uh, fill trigger, and you could just uh, bring it over here and sell it too. So that's the map, guys. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, please click the like button. If you aren't already a subscriber, please consider going ahead and clicking the subscribe button. We do map videos every Tuesdays and Thursday. And then we do some other videos throughout the week. Uh, we have some Let's Play series. We do an occasional how-to video. If I come across a mod that I think is pretty cool, I'll show you kind of how to use it and kind of explain how I think it would be great to be used. And then uh, we also do uh, videos maybe sometimes to kind of explain uh, certain things. So until next time, guys, happy farming.